I'm Jack. So, uh, we're going to be talking about our speed and distance car. And uh, one of the problems we had with our car is it was uh, fishtailing to the left a little bit. So what we had to do is we had to, uh, we had to make, it, make it make it a little thinner so the yeah. uh, wheels won't rub against. So we built a new car, and we do not have either car with us. Well, but and then the uh, car was very thin, so it was aerodynamic. And we also made sure that... It, it would have it did, a lot it didn't and very little drag. Like here are the two wheels and make sure it didn't droop down in the middle. So it had no drag. So it had no drag either. or friction. So uh, go we, as fast we also as made, make make sure to uh, balance the uh, weight so it doesn't uh, fishtail to one side or another. So we had to redo it and uh, we changed up the weight. And one of the methods we did was instead of cutting, we did we used a lot of folding instead. So it would stay a little more sturdy and we didn't have to make it add extra weight with the hot glue. Also, what we liked about it was that it was it just shot down right down the the track and it wouldn't it wasn't like hesitating or anything. It would just the gates would be lifted up and it went right down the track. Also when and what we, we need to so work on is that if like there's like a consistent variable in the track or in the car that we realize is there, then we have to fix that and we have to figure out a way to fix that. And what we plan to correct, well, we could have corrected how much it weighed and how long it was. Yeah, we should have, because it was very, like, uh, cause it was very, even though it was very light, it was very drag in the in the middle right here. So. But it wasn't too much. Yeah, so, mm. uh, yeah, so, for, uh, basically, we went, we went over what we need to do, which was add the weight so it doesn't fishtail, and uh, that's that. Go, go, go! In the dust, I'm surprised your car didn't do better.